This is a quick tip to show you how you can change the color or maybe the value of different hand painted objects without destroying all your hand painted textures. So welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and I do a lot of hand painted textures for different clients and sometimes they ask me to change the colors or maybe make it more vibrant with more saturation and you might think you have to start repainting but it's a lot easier than you think. So I'll quickly show you with this hammer here, it's got a sort of stony top and let's say someone asked us to change the top slightly so they could have different levels of hammer within their game. Well it's fairly easy, we can isolate the top and if you want to know how to isolate areas check out my texture painting playlist link in the description and you've also got the link to my website there for other content like this but I'll quickly isolate the top so into edit mode go to face mode wireframe select the top back to texture paint mode and back to material preview mode I can then press this button to isolate it and now with the fill brush I can then use my blending modes down here to change lots of different things now the default here is mix and it's worth saying before you start doing anything you might want to save your image over here as a different name I usually just put a plus one on it, but if you've got a specific color, you might want to call it that. So if I use the mix and I wanted to change it to a blue texture, I can then start bringing the blues up, but I start to lose the information as I mentioned earlier. So I'll undo that. Instead, we've got other options in our blending mode, which can help us. Now you probably already know about the lighten options here and the darken options here. I tend to use the screen for the lighten. So let's choose that. I'll bring my saturation back into the middle here so it's white and then I can click on that if I want to lighten it or go across to the multiply and click on that if I want to darken it but I'll undo that also I have my strength down quite low that way I can slowly add in these effects as they are still somewhat destructive to your textures the other option in the blend mode is the area here so value color saturation and hue so I can use the color information here and perhaps push this across to the blue and start filling that in. And you can see that's better than the mix because the mix was taking everything and overlaying it with blue, but this is colorizing things to the blue. So it's keeping their values, so the lights and darks, but it is kind of overriding some of my color information and making it blue. You can combine this with the hue, which is slightly different. So the hue option here, and I'll undo what I've done so I can show you what it does a bit closer. It's a little tough to describe, but it seems to push the colors across to the blue rather than just overlap them with the blue. So if I start filling it in, you can see it slowly moves those colors across to the blues there. And in this case, it's kind of desaturating them completely and taking out the colors, but you can see it's pushing them across to the blue. So they sort of go into the middle and then towards the blue. And I can keep clicking on this and it will just keep the blues and push the others towards the gray. It's quite an interesting effect and you kind of have to play with it to get the feel of it. So back to the start, if I combine this with color first and then give it a bit of blue there, so a very low strength, and then use the hue. So start pushing them further towards the blue. You can see we've got a sort of blue hammer with some slight discoloration. It's slightly better than just using the color on its own. Well, that's what I've found anyway. So again, I'll undo that. And I'll just quickly show you the other ones. So we've got value as well, so we can bring everything up to make it nice and bright. So all the dark areas in the image will come up as well and they'll slowly go towards that white. Slightly different to the screen, and in many cases, I think the screen is preferable. The other ones are tough to explain and you have to kind of play with those. Things like the overlay can give you a nice subtle effect if I click on that. It tends to make light bits lighter, dark bits darker, and you can use it with a color for a similar sort of effect, but in a slightly different way, as it is colorizing our lights and darks as well. So that's brush blending modes, which can be really helpful so you don't have to completely restart your painting. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.